Thanks for staying with us. So schools have reopened yesterday, but people are still worried concerning the pandemic. So we have with us, um, joining us on the show, is the chairman, Nigeria Medical Association Committee on COVID-19, chapter, Lagos chapter, our Dr. Jafet Olubogi. Dr. Jafet in the building. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now we are singing, you're not part of us, we are singing for you now. Welcome. <laughs> Good to have you back. So Dr. Jafet, let's go right into it. Um, in the last yeah. few weeks, we've been seeing a bit of a decline in Lagos State, especially um, in COVID-19 cases. And secondly, we're hearing that the government is closing down some isolation centers. So are those indicators for us to celebrate? I mean, have we finally turned the curve in Lagos State? Could you confirm that to us? Yes, thank you very much for having me once again. Well, uh, uh, the government is uh, considering a lot of money. They are giving back because that we spend a lot of money on we can't, we can't hear you. It's not, and, uh, clear. it's not very clear. Uh, and then the government is considering saving a lot of money, given that they are spending a lot of money on COVID-19, and life okay. uh, has to move on. But then again, it is not yet to who uh, really comes to COVID-19. A lot of people in the society are still uh, down with the virus. Mm -hmm. But I think what is happening is that uh, we have not about the virus now. So uh, I think a lot of people are taking a lot of medicine mm. that are actually preventing them from catching uh, uh, badly sick from the virus. So we have more information now on like uh, three, four, five months before uh, when we hardly had any good information about the virus. But because now people are aware that there are certain drugs, there are certain things that they can do that can reduce uh, them from picking up the virus, number one, or getting very sick uh, even after they must have contracted the virus. So right. I think that is what is happening. But it does not mean that the number of cases are actually reducing. No, people are still getting it. But I think what is happening is that people are not getting uh, sick. From it like we were getting sick uh, right. from it before. Uh, yes, so A lot of people have the virus, they may not even know that they have it, and they just get, uh, uh, they, they, they just recover from the virus right. without even having to go uh, testing or having to go to the isolation center. Right. So I okay. think that is uh, what is happening. Okay, don't you also think that the numbers may be dropping because a lot of people are not testing? You know, people are yes. actually the, not the testing. Numbers, the numbers may have been uh, dropping because a lot of people are not even coming forward for testing anymore. Mm -hmm. People are not, they are not, they are not putting themselves forward like we were. They are not scared from the virus anymore. Uh, like they were before. So uh, they may not be coming for testing anymore. If you are not testing enough, we may not have enough people that are dead with the virus. And if uh, we don't have so many people that are sick or down with the virus, uh, the government does not have so many people to put in the isolation center. And if they run uh, an empty isolation center for a week or two, I think they may want to think that, ah, why do we want to continue, you know, buying fuel, paying uh, extra cars, uh, buying drugs, uh, buying food, you know, sell accommodation for them. Uh, these are areas where the government extend money. So they may want to save money. So uh, it's not a bad thing. Right. We should just be on the lookout. We should right. just be on the lookout. Okay. Get set. Case, uh, uh, the, the cases skyrocket again so that we can do the needful. Right. Yeah. I hear, I hear of a lot of deaths. Or I've been hearing of a lot of deaths recently. And, you know, on disclosed illness, I will give you an example. Somebody called me on Sunday that I should help her. Police have arrested her. Her boyfriend died in her arms. Police have arrested her for killing him, and mm. she didn't kill him. I suspect that that person must have died of COVID. Koro. Dr. Wa Dr. Waiki. I, I, well, because I've been hearing, I have to be honest, I have mm -hmm. been hearing strange, strange deaths. Mm. And now, if that girl, if he did die of uh, corona, they have arrested her, put her in the cell, if she has it, she will distribute hmm. the dead body. The parents have collected the dead body. The parents will infect themselves. What are we going to do about this? You know, is there no way that you can be hooking these de dead bodies before they? I don't know. Uh, you're suggesting uh, cremating. I'm, no, I'm not suggesting. I'm just asking. Isn't there a way we can test these bodies? Okay. In death. Okay. Be before they... Okay. Uh, to know the cause of death. To know right. the cause of death. Right. Thank you. Yes, yes. Is that what she's yes. saying? You get that? Thank you very much. Mm. You have raised a valid uh, question and a valid concern. 
like I said earlier on, we have not defeated the virus yet, and it is, has not gone out of our society yet. So we shouldn't be too fast to uh, discard uh, thing we are doing concerning the virus. For instance, there are so many deaths, like you said, uh, so many all investigators dead, so many all reported dead, that may actually have resulted from COVID-19. Uh, but because the society believes that, oh, the virus is no more dead now, Everybody just wants to do, go ahead with their lives and do whatever they like. That kind of case should have been, you know, investigated and autopsy conducted for that kind of case. Exactly. But, uh, uh, it, it boils down to the way we run our society. Uh, we take a lot of things for granted, which we shouldn't uh, do in the first place. Right. So there are six cases out there. Like I said earlier on, people are still dying and you don't know the causes of their death. Mm. If you say you want to conduct autopsy for somebody that died so so close now, uh, that they don't know the cause of death, the family will tell you, no, we are not ready for that. We just want to mm. bury our dead. So we right. all be aware that in order to protect others in the society, when people die like that of an unsuspecting illness, we should carry yes. out an autopsy yes. right. so that we can you know, get to the root of the matter right. and then maybe prevent uh, further death among right. the family members or among the loved ones yeah. or among the neighbors or I even contact Chris. Yeah. Uh, for that matter. All right, Dr. Jaffet, I need to ask you this question because you said something earlier that many people are treating themselves at home and not presenting themselves to the hospitals because they, they suspect that they might have COVID and they're treating themselves. Now, for me, that's a concern because obviously people are being treated. They treat themselves and they get well. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't our government open up to us and say, listen, you can use A, B, C, D at home to strengthen your immune system so that it becomes formalized because everybody's just going back, taking lemongrass here, taking garlic there, taking ginger. We're just talking to each other. Can we have a formal um, advice from the government? Say, okay, guys, yes, it doesn't cure you, but use A, B, C, D to strengthen your immune so that everybody at least knows this generally. So it's not as if it depends on who you call that tells you one will say take the turmeric, now one will say take uh, lemongrass. We, we are getting confused. Yeah, thank you. Uh, well, I'm for the government, but uh, I agree with you. Uh, it is one of the things that they should be doing. And I think uh, the Honorable Commissioner for Health actually mentioned uh, certain things that uh, people could take uh, in the past. But we have also, in our own right, mentioned that uh, there are some drugs that people can take that can boost their immunity, that can prevent them from green uh, uh, and green uh, uh, illnesses uh, for COVID-19. Uh, we have mentioned before that vitamin D, vitamin C, and the uh, oral drink can uh, help. And I'm sure people also have read uh, on the internet uh, about all these things. Now, uh, one of the reasons which I think the government will not want to come out uh, to say all these things is because in the past kind of information, people may mistake it for the fact that it's a cure. Meanwhile, it's not a cure. And it is not absolute. Uh, when you take this drug, it is not take this drug and come down with COVID-19. It can take, some people can take this drug and come down with a uh, great illness from COVID-19. And then they will start putting the government that, oh, she did a two drug that, but we do so, so, and so, and so. We will not come down with it. So mm. uh, government did not want to be making those kind of uh, uh, comments uh, because mm. of that kind of reading. Uh, for instance, we, we, all, we all saw the uh, video about hydroxychloroquine, and uh, there, there are so many doubts around it. Uh, some people say uh, that there, there, there are uh, researches that say it can be used in cures and all that. But there are so many other researches that say that no, it does not cure uh, the virus. So if the government comes and make uh, a position on that kind of uh, uh, issue, people are going to be quoting the government and even be seeing the government as well. Uh, so uh, I'm sure. I government does not want to take a okay. position on, Point on taken. all this kind of All right, understood. I, anyway. I totally agree with you, and I'm happy you brought up that video on hydroxychloroquine because now there are some chemists that are actually selling chloroquine for 50K. Wow. 50,000 naira because of I that agree. video. Yes. What, is there, are there any steps that the government can take to investigate these chemists? Later on, I can give you a call and tell you secretly which one I know. Or which one I have encountered? Oh, you've known of you, right? Okay. Uh uh. Anyway, they won't let you enter their pharmacy again. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, you see, at, at some point uh, during the uh, response, when I came on the show, I mentioned that 
uh, when, when it had not been confirmed that uh, COVID-19 was airborne, I mentioned that uh, we mentioned it can back that people should not be wearing clothes and masks up and down mm -hmm. until it was not confirmed that we should be wearing clothes. Now, what those kind of things do, it, it, it's to hijack the commodity and then take it fast and then before you know it, it becomes so, so expensive. I also asked him, uh, I got the cooking yesterday from one of my families, and he said the, the, the drug was 54,000 naira. So you see, in our society, they will create such a huge demand for that drug and then make it start, and then off. people start looking for it and want to buy it at all costs. I don't think okay, I want to say categorically, it does not cure COVID-19. So people should stop ordering the drug and stop selling it at the huge and exorbitant prices. Just mm, right. COVID-19. Okay, it, it, uh, we had an argument. Okay. We had a discussion in the makeup room this morning, and they were saying eh, they don't want you to cure it. Hydroxychloroquine is the cure. They are just lying. Please, but, can you use this medium? Because me too now, I'm like this. Should but, I or should I not? Like, Convince I, us. I can argue that even you might not even know because the, the, what the video had said is that at certain stages, you can still use it. When you get to that chronic stage, you don't expect that hydroxychloroquine to work. Yes. But if you, if at the early stages, or even preventive, preventive are yes. things you can use ahead to, to help strengthen your immune system or to prevent it from coming. Is that true? That, that's, that's the argument from the video that we're saying, not that it cures uh, no, COVID-19. It's, it's not a vitamin now. Yes, but, uh, hydroxychloroquine actually has some form of uh, preventive measures against uh, uh, COVID-19. Right. Because it actually prevents uh, the virus from entering into the cells and replicating themselves. Right. But then again, zinc, oral zinc also uh, does uh, almost the same job. And then oral zinc wouldn't give you the side effects that hydroxychloroquine will give you. And oral zinc is actually much cheaper. Don't forget that at the uh, beginning of the uh, response, we actually tried hydroxychloroquine in Lagos, in one of the uh, isolation centers. And the results uh, were not so fantastic compared to uh, the other drugs that we are applying to the patient. So uh, uh, if you want to read on the internet, it's fine. But then again, theory is different from practical. I don't know. Uh, 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 Dr. Stella attended to 350 patients or 400 patients, and she had results in them. But we are talking about thousands and millions of people. The results we get in 40 people, in 350 people, cannot be compared to the results Dr. We Jaffet, get in leave that matter. Let's not bring people. Dr. Stella here. Let's, let me give him that question. Let me. I'm, <laughs> even, I'm more worried about the fact that um, schools are resuming, churches are resuming. And I know that um, sometimes we say, the government will say that we are going to check if they all meet with the protocols and all the guidelines they're supposed to have in the schools. But we are not sure that at the end of the day, they will follow through. We have a problem of following through. Now, what, is there anything your organization is doing to assist the, uh, either is the NCDC or the federal government in following through to ensure that all the schools and all the churches have the um, guidelines met before right. resumption? Yes, thank you very much for raising a very charming uh, concern. Uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, following through with protocols and uh, Established uh, rules, uh, uh, some of uh, our uh, around here. And uh, we have developed a protocol of our own, uh, the NBA uh, COVID 19 committee, which we have translated uh, to the uh, state officers committee and then the government. Uh, we are also going to be publishing it uh, very soon. Uh, well, uh, we are still discussing uh, the modalities of the school resumption, okay. and we are still trying to fine tune. Uh, arrangements on how we can help the government uh, to monitor and supervise and ensure that these protocols are adhered to and uh, are put in place so that our students will be protected, our children uh, will be fully protected uh, from contracting the virus. Thank you very much. Anyway, on a personal note, my own personal problem. <laughs> Me, I take vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, uh, omega. Am I preventing the virus? <laughs> and don't go yarrow. Am I preventing the virus? <laughs> Why kid? You alone. Just... Oh, let me walk I don't know about don't go yarrow. Hey. You cannot go wrong with vitamin C and vitamin D and the omega H3 that you are taking. Is she not being over? Is she not overdosed? You should know about That's a lot of stuff you're taking daily. No, 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 no. It, it, it's not overdosed if you take uh, the 
type uh, uh, measurements for you. I will do that. Uh, well, she can put that later. Oh, <laughs> a lemon and ginger. I forgot that no, one. No. Okay. Okay, that's one COVID-19. You can take them. They're good for your body, so you can go ahead. Okay, no one die. Is, uh, we shall leave. All of us will survive this 2020. <laughs> God's grace. Amen. Okay, let's ah. go on the Thank you so much, Dr. Thank Javis. You, it's always a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you for all right, having me. All right. Pleasure. Let's go on a break. We'll be right back. You can watch Your View on TVC every Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Nigerian time on DSTV Channel 418, Go TV Channel 27 and Channel 47, Star Times Channel 121 and Channel 307. Play TV, Channel 801 and Channel 190, UHF 49, Sky Channel 515 for UK viewers. Watch live on Facebook at TVC Connect and on our website, tvcentertainment.tv forward slash livestream.